Hey yo, is this is this thing on? Oh, oh shit, yo. Hey, what the fuck is up? It's your boy Jafetti Gua. Mm. Yo, I just want to start off by saying thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel. We're here. We're all about that guap, baby. And just like the title says, today's video topic is titties. Nah, but on the cool, today's video topic is going to be supreme. This is not a how to cop guide. This is more of a what is supreme for beginners. So this whole resale community, whether it be supreme, shoes, all that, everything that it encompasses, it's a pretty big community. There's new people coming in every day, some that have a general idea of what it is, but not the specifics. So the goal of this video is to break down all the specifics about supreme to hopefully get you a better understanding. So you've seen all the memes, you've heard about supreme, and maybe you know a few people that fuck with the brand. So now you've looked into what it is, and now you realize that one, there's a huge market for this stuff and there's a huge culture behind it too whether it be for resale anyone interested in this hype piece culture you think it's dope which i'm not gonna lie i used to be a hater i used to talk shit i used to think it was dumb but now that i started my journey into this little rabbit hole i get it this shit's dope as fuck this video is gonna hopefully answer a lot of the questions that i had that i couldn't find answers to in one video for you i myself am brand new to this whole supreme resale game not even just supreme just in general i'm like one week deep brand new i was there for the uh Takashi 69 drop and the Yeezy 700, the MNN and then uh, Phosphorus drop. And I was gonna be there for the uh, Fear of God drop, but I slept through it. But I remember for the Yeezy drop, I had like four Chrome users on Yeezy Supply and another four on Adidas, uh, just waiting in line, waiting in the queue. I got through on two of the Yeezy Supply ones, but as soon as I, I was so excited too. As soon as I hit the add to cart and check out, it was sold out, it's fucking, it was insane. Same thing for the Takashi drop, I loaded in. Uh, I was super laggy for like two minutes. As soon as I see the shirt, I, I clicked on it and I tried to cop a size, but it was sold out like that, man. And even though I took those L's, man, that shit was fun, yo. It was like a rush, I don't know, but I had fun doing it, man. So now um, I'm addicted, yo. This shit is like crack. <laughs> So when I first started watching YouTube videos about the Supreme game, I was able to find a lot of good information. It was scattered all over the place. Mind you, like I said, I knew what Supreme was, but I didn't know the specific details of it. There was a lot of guides on how to cop, a lot of videos about the upcoming drops, a lot of videos about the hype items, hauls from the previous drops. But I had to watch a lot of videos and pick information here and there uh, to kind of get like a full general scope of what Supreme really was and how it worked. So real quick, before we get into it, make sure to thumbs up this bitch, subscribe to your boy, and most importantly, follow me on the gram at Alright, so what is Supreme? This is a pretty basic one. I'm gonna give you a Google definition. I put it off Google and that's what I'm gonna give you. Supreme is an American skateboarding shop and clothing brand established in New York City in April 1994. The brand caters to the skateboarding and hip-hop cultures as well as youth culture in general. The brand produces clothes and accessories and also manufactures skateboards. So they basically design clothes and really what they do is just slap their logo on a bunch of shit and sell it. That shit's dope though. Alright, so why is it so expensive? For example, that Takashi shirt right now that's like $750 that shirt only retailed for $60 after shipping and taxes it could have not been more than $80 and so that's where the money is people are willing to pay these crazy prices for these hype releases at the time of me making this video there have been 820 sales of that Takashi shirt on StockX averaging $718 but not every item that drops is going to have resale value some items don't even sell out on the website you can still go on there and buy them for retail the only items that are gonna have resale value are usually the ones that get hyped up. So then what makes an item hype and how can you tell if an item's gonna be hype or not? For example, the Takashi shirt, right? The hype behind that shirt was stupid, yo. Stupid crazy. But why was it so hyped up though? It was a classic box logo t-shirt and it was a collaboration with an artist named Takashi Murakami. It was limited stock, only 17,000. So I can't tell you exactly why it got so hyped, but I can tell you that everything that I listed off are factors into why stuff gets hyped like that. And I remember I saw the hype, yo. This was when I first started getting into looking, okay, how can I resell stuff? And I saw everyone going crazy over this, like YouTube channels all the resale pages all like the leaked news pages everyone was going crazy over this shirt so how can you tell if an item is going to be hype or not just be involved in the community yo follow social media accounts more importantly your boy cook groups resale pages uh the supreme pages youtubers stock x i know you can
can see resale prices before the stuff releases. Um, I'm not sure how accurate that is because I do see like the price tank. Um, as soon as something releases, the price goes down, but it's an estimate, right? So just be involved in the community and get an overall general consensus from everyone in the community or multiple people in the community of what's going to be the hype release. Can't stress this enough. Cook groups, that's their thing, that they know what's going to be hype, what's not. So how does Supreme work? Then? Let's start off with the seasons. Supreme releases two collections per year, one for the spring summer season and one for the fall winter season. So when referring to season, it's going to be either SS for spring summer or FW for fall winter followed by the year. For example, right now we're April 2020. We're still in spring summer. So anything that gets released within this month is going to be within the SS 20 season. The next season is going to be FW 20 and then so on and so forth. Okay. So now that you know how the seasons work before the season starts, Supreme releases a lookbook and a preview of all the things to come or that collection. You can find this by going to supremenewyork.com go to the preview section then view all so when do the seasons start so what i could find from the past seasons it seems that spring summer seasons start off in february all winter starts in august and the season previews will get dropped right before the season starts so how many drops are going to be in a season from what i've seen it's always 19 to 20 drops so now let's talk about drop days supreme drops on thursdays at 11 a.m eastern time this is new york time so make sure to plan accordingly to where you live for example me being a Texas boy and all, 11 a.m. Eastern time is 10 a.m. Texas time. So each week there are new items from the collection being dropped. There is no official release book for that week, uh, but you can get a good idea of what's gonna be released usually a day or two before the drop. And again, this is done through the community, social media, YouTubers, cook groups, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much it about the Supreme in general. Those are a lot of the questions that I had that I couldn't find one video with all those direct answers. Um, so hopefully, uh, this video helps out the best thing to do though is to just keep on going with the journey keep up with the community try to cop all that good stuff so now real quick i want to talk about cook groups a cut group is a discord server that has a shit ton of useful information like just right now as i'm making this video i got a notification saying that there's not a for sure restock on the takashi shirt but that it was just listed back on there so there's there's a potential for a restock like i just said they do restock bots so they have uh they keep an eye out for just restocks of certain sold out products not just throughout supreme but through a whole bunch of sites they keep you up to date with release dates they have shit like forex trading signals stock trading for sure releases they give you a list of places where you could enter for raffles to get the there's just a lot of useful information and it's all centered around one goal and that's getting to the guap but sometimes it doesn't even have to do with like fashion stuff there's a bot right now that's notifying me whenever best buy restocks on their nintendo switch everywhere is sold out of nintendo switches right now and they're reselling on ebay and the local markets for like 500 dollars plus and they cost 300 dollars. i've yet to cop one as soon as they restock they're sold out like that but i'm trying I'm tr and it's not even that expensive it's like 30 bucks a month that's what i paid for mine anyways i hope that this video answers some of your questions i know i had a lot of these these questions like i said whenever i started getting my feet wet so make sure to like subscribe leave a comment if you have any other questions most importantly follow me on the gram at jafetti guap anyways hope you enjoyed this video good luck on your resale journey like i said i'm new to this whole resale game i'm excited to be a part of it so excited i can't wait to see what's to come i've had a bunch of fun this early on into it already we're all out here just trying to eat we're all trying to come up on some guap at the end of the day that's what it's all about catch y'all in the next video